In this video, I want to do a quick demo of a uh, little PowerShell script that I wrote, and uh, I'm going to make it available on my website for download. But um, it's a little script that I found out that I've been using a lot lately because um, I've been doing a lot of web farming and having multiple machines on my hand at one time that I need to reboot. So rebooting six or so machines at one time is kind of a pain in the butt when you have to log into them individually, start, shut down, and blah, blah, blah. So what I did is I wrote a little PowerShell script that uses a text file that you can put the host names in, one, one host name per line, and then uh, you can use the script to shut them down, reboot them, or check the status of whether they're online or offline by pinging them. In the demo, I'm going to be running this script from a domain controller that uh, I have an administrative account on, and it gives me an administrative account on all of the servers I'm going to be rebooting which is something they're going to need and I'm just going to unzip it and I'm going to copy it into a folder right off of the root of C and then I'm just basically going to right click on it and run with PowerShell now you'll need to make sure that you have your execution policy set to allow scripts to run before you run the script otherwise it'll fail to execute and uh, that's pretty much it so let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to see here is that I unzip the script to a folder called uh, scripts right off the root of C um, PowerShell scripts tend to run better if you copy them to the root of C rather than like in your documents. Um, but you see there's the uh, host.txt and here's the PowerShell scripts here. Now note there is one variable at the top here that sets the uh, path for the host.txt file. You may need to mess around with that and set it to the exact path. And uh, that's pretty much it. So then we uh, right click on the uh, script and we're going to run with PowerShell. And here you can see the script here. And there's our welcome screen and it shows where the uh, host.txt file is and then we see we have options in the menu there so the first option we're going to see here is option number one will list all the servers that are found in the host.txt file and we see our list there and then we can just push any key to continue and then if we look at option number two that will allow us to edit the host.txt file and you simply enter one host name per line here and it will add right into the script so let's just add a fake one to see what happens and then we're going to close it and save it and then we'll push any key to continue there and let's take a look to see if that ended up in our list okay so we see that it successfully added it there and our next option is going to be number three to check to check the status of the servers and we see that they come back green if they're online and red if they're offline and now we're just doing a simple ping here two times to see if these hosts are online and our last option is going to be number four for the shutdown or reboot of the servers and after hitting that option you're then prompted if you want to do the reboot or if you want to do a shutdown and we see that if we hit S we're then prompted one more time to commit to yes or no whether we want to shut down so uh, in this case we're actually going to do a reboot here on the left hand side you're going to see two virtual machines whose host names are in the host.txt file and we're going to use them to demo the script here so we hit option 4 and you see that we get the uh, reboot shutdown prompt we're going to hit R and it's going to prompt us one last time are we sure we want to reboot and we're going to hit Y and then it, um, it then prompts us for a comment for the reboot and we're just going to do test and we see that the servers start shutting down almost immediately now on Windows Server you normally enter a reason why you're shutting down or rebooting the server uh, in this case I set up the shutdown command or the reboot commands to both say that they're going down because of planned hardware maintenance and we can now use option 3 to check to see if the servers have come back up yet Okay, so it looks like one of them is up. Uh, let's give it a try again. See if the other one has come up yet. Alright, so we see both of the servers are back up now, and that's it. So it really is that easy to reboot as many servers or a whole farm at one time. And then you just hit E and exit the script. So there you have it, my uh, PowerShell shutdown reboot script. 
Um, I'm going to make this available for download off my site. It'll be a zip file, and uh, you can check it out, test it out, see if you like it, see if it's something maybe you could use. And uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.